with no clothes. Your fine ass and that lingerie and that freaky shit that I'm on. Shot I got a man, never mind that jerk. Killing them hoes, she belong in the hearse. She don't need a job, she can get that work. Get that work, you can get that work. And I know that's what's the good of them so full. Make you wanna slap your mama. You the bomb, baby, that's tick tick with no Afghan or bin Laden. Come take a ride in my theme park. I watch you do it, that's a work of art. When that click kissed and that moan is starting, them deep inside of her nose arc. Oh. Right, right, that it can't be wrong oh. to love you all night yeah. through the break of dawn. Baby, you the bum bum, you the best. You the best. It- okay, so as we left off, we finally see Magda coming out of the freaking uh, teleportation hole. And he brings out Obito with him, and Obito is pretty much dead. I don't know how exactly, but we know for a fact that Magda apparently took his eyes. And now Sakura was aware that he was coming because Obito warned her in the last manga chapter. So now she's giving everybody a warning that Magda is about to come. Everybody get ready. So they get ready. And now all of a sudden we see Magda. He has these two Renegons. And Kakashi notices that Obito has no eye. Literally has no eye. And he sees Magda having these Renegons. So from what I read from the double for anime... He assumed that maybe Obito would give Kashi his Renegon or maybe his Shining as a parting gift for his final farewells. But I don't think that's the scenario of what's happening now. But what I can say is that Kakashi, I'm not really sure. He actually, I think he actually might die. But before all this, now I'm just changing the subject. But as Madara occurred, outside of the battlefield, Naruto um, is out there with Sasuke, and Sakura was um, saying that, you know what, this is my time to shine, it's about time I activate my Mitonic Regeneration, which is the move that she learned from Lady Tsunade, and so, as she remembers, she's aware that the full rules, uh, the medical ninja must never get hurt, etc, blah blah blah, but, since that she has a mechanical regeneration, which she has the capability of rebuilding up her cells and her chakra and stuff, that's pretty much leading up to her doing the same thing as Tsunade did and right in the front lines. So now, that's where things got more intense. She goes in and tries to attack Magura recklessly, and there was like an imaginary wall there. Now, as the imaginary wall was there, Magura is standing still, noticing that he remembers battling Tsunade, and Tsunade said that rule number four is you know how to pretty much handle your own and to heal yourself, you are allowed to fight in the front lines. So he remembers that, and he's trying to use that as his opportunity against her. But Sasuke jumps in, and I'm not really sure if he intentionally tried to save her, or if he needed her so that just in case when they get damaged, they would need to be healed. It's either one of those scenarios, but I would recommend the second choice that I said. So, as he left off, Sasuke um, attacks and Naruto catches Sakura because Magura did like some explosive attack or something that made them start flying. So Naruto jumps in and catches Sakura and pretty much, you know. And then, as he uh, lets go of Sakura, Sasuke tells Naruto that there is four shadows of Madara, so now he's about to attack it, and he does. And for a second, from what I was imagining it as, I imagined it as like a little DVD moment, but like with a little less power, like maybe between Nappa power, around that kind of level, that's what I pictured it as. And then, as we left off pretty much, there was like, wow, okay, things are getting really confusing here, but it's like extremely awesome. And so, now, this is where, um, things got kind of confusing, because, um, right after Naruto lets go of Sakura, she turns around, and Sasuke turns around, and Sakura notices that he has a Renegon, and she was curious on when the hell did he get that, and I wonder if he still cares about me, is what she's still wondering about. I'm like, Sakura, just shut the fuck up and do your job. He doesn't do anything you want. Yes. Don't urinate all over ah. my- Shut up, bitch! Listen! Like, literally, just do your goddamn job. 
I mean, it's like... Come on. Stop acting like that guy like you. Nobody gives a damn. And so... And, um... He does that and stuff. Sakura pretty much is, like, feeling like she is a burden again because she couldn't really do anything. And I almost forgot about this, is that when Naruto caught her, uh, caught her there was a rod, I think the rod that Madara had, I think some of it went on Sakura. I can't, I couldn't really make up the image of what exactly what it was, but that's what I think it was. Because it looked like uh, it snapped, and I think a little part was like stuck on Sakura, on the stomach part, on the left, I think. And so, then, right after that, Naruto and Sasuke start charging in. Like I said, Naruto all of a sudden started attacking these four shadows. And Sasuke tries to go after the real one, and... Before he actually tries to get into them, Madara activates some ex extraordinary, very powerful jutsu that kind of remind me of the planetary devastation. It was something called Tensei. I can't remember what exactly what it was. Something Tensei. And so he uses that. It's, it's almost exactly like pretty much the planetary devastation. All these rocks were piling up, going up in the sky, and now... He's saying that the rain must fall, so in a sense, I assume that maybe those rocks are supposed to fall. And so Sasuke uh, is telling Naruto and Sakura to get ready for this. It's going to be very hard, because these rocks are kind of big and kind of solid at the same time. And so they're going to prepare for that. And so this is where things got really insane, because we see Madara um, apparently turning around after... And you know how Kaguya had three eyes? If anybody remembers that, this is exactly what's happening right now. Madara is pretty much being controlled by Kaguya, I believe. And now he has his third eye, which is the Renegon and Shining Eye. Oh my dude, now you just look like a freaking alien. At first I thought Madara was kind of boss and stuff, but now he's like... Did we really have to put that eye on him? I mean, he reminds me of Aizen, like, what the frick, man? <laughs> and so, as soon as he does that, he finally goes with his main objective of peace, also known as the Apocalypse, in a sense. So, he activates the infinite Tsukiyomi, and that is what it all was about, guys. So guys, leave your comments, leave a like, and hopefully you guys will subscribe. See you guys next time, and tell me what you guys think of this chapter. This is Okami Manito. Peace out, bro.